when you make a transition from one system to another system, there are always issues. But the issues involved in with working with with uh, Coha particularly and Bywater specifically are are minimal. When when we went over uh, from our previous system, uh, people were really terrified. People here in, in, in Farmington were very terrified because they just had been so brutalized by the over-management, by the over-specificity, by the tremendous amount of, of peer pressure every time they upgraded a system that they were just shell-shocked. They did not want to deal with it. And I told them, as a new person, that it would not be a problem. I told them that they would enjoy it. And they really did enjoy it. It was really fun. Open source user functions are smart and easy, and the staff functions are smart and elegant. So it's much easier to do things with open source, uh, particularly with Bywater. That's, we've been cloud-based. I mean, when I go to the council um, for the last six years for, to present my budget, I say we're cloud-based. You know, we're way ahead of everybody. One of the things that we were really looking for was a large amount of control and flexibility over our records. Um, the consortium we looked at, we did not have that flexibility, and that was really key. So um, they dropped off our list pretty early on. Um, and of course, cost was another huge factor. Um, I think that always is, is when we're looking at um, bringing in new ILS. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring a new <laughs> ILS and a discovery layer for less than what I was paying for my current ILS. Um, that was kind of our real main goal. We did that very well and saved thousands upon thousands of dollars on top of that, which uh, went right back into our uh, database budget, which was great. So we didn't lose that money um, in our next, in our next uh, fiscal budget. This was great. We could just pack it back into more uh, resources. Uh, in the end, Koha Bywater filled our needs perfectly when we actually uh, limited down to our ILS. Um, this is been huge for us. This has just streamlined what used to be an awful, awful process at the end of the year to just this super easy, tidy, lovely thing. Um, reports have been mentioned over and over again. I won't go into any great detail, but the reports wiki is like the single best thing on earth. And actually, when we started this RFP process, I honestly, if you'd asked me, I would have told you, well, we're just doing this as an excuse to convince IT so that we can go with OCLC and go to WMS. When I entered the process, I did not expect that we were going to end up with five water. Um, and I'm so glad we did the process, because we did. And if we'd gone with WMS, it would have been a huge mistake for a variety of reasons. So the focus on service was a real plus to us, too, because our experience with III was, frankly, really negative. We would call, put in a ticket. There were two or three people who had access to the ticketing system and uh, on our team. And it would take forever to get a response, and the first person you would get would have no clue who you were, or what your system was, or you know what version you were running of anything. I mean, they just they didn't know you. Um, you know, the Bywater folks. I feel like I know them. I know their names. I know how to get a hold of them individually. Um, it's very easy to get a quick response with the amount of money that we're saving. Uh, you know, year over year from moving from Millennium to moving to Koha hosted by Bywater. We've been able to pay for improvements that now everybody can benefit from. We've been able to pay to bring folks back from Bywater for additional training and additional hands-on um, you know, work with us that's been, frankly, really fruitful. We've customized the language that displays. This is one of the virtues of working with Koha and working with Bywater. It's easy to tweak things to look the way you want them to work for your patrons. So students came back from Christmas break. I went in front of auditorium, which is a great opportunity to have. When you can have all your patrons in one room and introduce them to your system, I mean, who, who wouldn't want that? So I did a quick demo. And this feature in particular, because every night between 8 and 10, every weeknight between 8 and 10, all of our, uh, our ninth graders and 10th graders are in study hall in their dorm rooms. So I walked through, well, okay, you're in your dorm room. And we were talking about serendipity, right? Because you can't walk the stacks. Well, you can't walk the stacks if you're in study hall in your room. 
but you can browse the stacks now, right? We just brought back serendipity through the OPAC. The students clapped when they saw this feature. They cheered this catalog. <laughs> This is the full circle, right? This is this is what open source community is about. All of us are running in the same problems. We can talk amongst ourselves and help figure each other figure them out. We can we have support from these guys in helping us figure them out. Um, you know, when we make improvements, they're available for everybody. All these different ways to contribute to improving the shared product. Versus what we used to have with Millennium, which was, you know, we'd call a rep and they'd quote us, yeah, we'll charge you 3000 and then 3000 and then you know, all down the line. No, 4000 and everybody gets it forever. So that's, that, that for me has been the exciting thing about partnering with Bywater to, to have Coma be our ILS. I mean, aside from all the benefits for our patrons, just this sort of sense of every improvement is for everybody and that we're contributing in this way. The OPAC, we've actually had compliments from students and faculty saying, I can actually use you guys now. I don't have to, to avoid you at all costs. <laughs> Next, the best part, working with Bywater. We will be saving as a conservative estimate, $150,000 over the next five years. Just by switching. And I say conservatively because our, every year our renewal price is going up about 40%. So it's unreal. I thought this exactly. And faculty love it. They've act, it's actually gotten to the point where faculty require all their students to log in and request a book, and then they have to come to the desk and take a picture of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Increase voluntary use by students. If you take anything away from my presentation, this is it. Because as an academic library, we're there for faculty and students. Faculty use it in the curriculum. And students use it voluntarily for their research, leisure reading, just any sort of possible use. So it is fantastic. I yeah. say one thing too. We saved four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the last six years. Wow. But the bottom line is, is that we're really happy. Everybody's really happy with this system, and you know it's invisible. We don't worry about it. We have a great time with it, and I highly recommend. Get it.